in this video we're gonna be talking about ODS what does it stands for so here O stands for output D stands for delivery and S stands for system output delivery system so SAS provides you a system using which whatever you create in SAS you can produce them in different applications such as PDF Excel or Word or RTF or HTML right so you can produce these outputs into that whatever you create such as proc means proc tabulate proc report whatever it is right you can produce them in any of these applications now the question is how to do that so for that I'm going to give you the simplest form of this syntax which is start with ODS provide the file type now you can ask what does file type means the file type means in which you want to produce this SAS output right for example pdf if you want to print that into pdf if you want to put that into excel file you can do that as well all right and if you want to put that in word ms word you can do that as well you can use rtf you can use html whatever you want right any of these things now after that you gotta use the file statement and along with that you need to provide the file name in which you want to produce the output so just like when we do proc export same way you need to provide location along with the file name and with that extension now after this it also gives you the facility to modify the appearance of your output for example whatever output is produced if you want to change the color font etc you can do that also this is optional if you don't want to use you can skip this okay now after that at the end you're gonna repeat the same thing in the starting you wrote ODS here again you're gonna say the same thing then again you need to provide the file type over here or whatever you have specified over here you need to keep that in mind and after that you simply say close follow followed up followed by a semicolon right so this structure helps you to produce the SAS output in a different application but the matter comes in what is the output that we want to produce like you can see there is nothing over here to produce so over here you can perform any SAS activity for example proc means proc report proc summary whatever you want and if you want whatever is produced by proc sql or if you are writing data step what is whatever output comes in that you can produce in any uh, that you can just write over here right and you can produce them in any of this application let me take you to this sas and try to explain you with the help of examples all right so here we are let me just show you first sas help data so let's say there is one library which is called sas help dot in inside that i have a table cars now i want to see a sample of this data so what is it that we're gonna do we can just simply say proc print and we can say data equals to this and we can provide the options that i just want to see five let's say 10 observations and whatever variables are there i just want to produce only some specific variables for example origin then type then uh, let's say msrp these are the three variables i just want to produce right and after that you're just gonna say run so this will give you this output we got this now i want to produce this output in the form of pdf i want to put this output in pdf how can we do that so like i told you we can start with we can simply say ODS and then we can provide the file type the file type which we want to use is PDF we want to produce that in PDF so you're gonna write PDF then you're gonna use the file statement remember you don't have to put semicolon as of now till the time this particular segment is completed so over here in file statement you're gonna provide the location along with the file name where you want to produce the output in the PDF right so that i am going to do in this report folder in the cloud if you are working on sas on demand then just take this location i mean this is a folder which i have created you might have a different folder but if you are working in sas is your base sas you would have your own location whatever your location is you can just put it over here now here i can give a name print pdf print sample and the extension I will give PDF because I want to produce that in PDF right 
and then I will put semicolon and again like I said that I will end this over here ODS PDF and close you can notice that I am not using the style statement because that's optional and I'm trying to keep it simple that's why I'm not using it as of now now this is the this is the procedure which output I want to produce in PDF so I will just put that over here right now let's print this I mean let's run this sorry <laughs> now we can just run this this is done now you can see in the report folder I have this particular file created now I simply select this and download it it is downloaded and just open it and here we go right we have the output created over here so this is how you can use the ODS statement now let me give you some quick tips also this is one statement which we just used if you want you can use many other statements as well now before we jump there let me show you how can you use style so for that you can just use style statement but semicolon you need to put over here right style equals to I'm going to say daisy right and then let's run it again and now again let's try to open this this is overwritten and now the output which we have it looks like this so this was the previous output which was absolutely plain now in this output we have some design or some format so this is how you can use different styles now you might be getting a question where the hell i got to know this style name how would you know that right so don't worry i'm going to tell you that way so there is a procedure which is called proc template and you can run that and in that what you're going to do is you're going to list styles you just list down all the styles okay now let's run this oops what happened i think i pressed something else all right here now here we got all these styles so like we i used daisy here here is that one okay similarly you can use either of these formats right you can use any of these formats and you can produce the output now if you want to get this list produced in pdf what i can do is i can put that processor as well over here right so now you can see that in same ods statement we have two procedures and both of these things will be produced in one pdf file if i open this one over here now this time i'm going to have two things this is the first one and now let me scroll it down and here you have all those styles exported bravo now this is isn't it interesting right now let's pick this or maybe this style and go back over here come over here and then just change the style over here let's run this again and let's see what happens now again i'm going to download this particular file and just check it out if it has a design change yes it has a design changed you see it is changed so this is how you can use different styles now if you want to produce this output in word what you can do is you can just say rtf file name the uh, file type is rtf and over here also you can say rtf and over here you can say rtf this will open in word let me just run this and here is the output this will open in the form of ms word it's just gonna open bear with me it will take few moment bravo bravo it is exported in over here right so you can see this is opened in ms word so similarly if you want you can use excel over here if you want you can use html over here right so this is how you can use the ods 
statement in the upcoming videos we gonna be learning how to customize this style this was the predefined style now we will learn how to customize this you would have the options to change the appearance like remove the border you know change the color change the font size change the font etc 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 right we will learn all of those things one by one until then i would highly encourage you to choose to try this particular thing with a different file type for example excel and html right just try it and put that in the comment section whatever your experience is and just let me know if you liked it i will make subsequent videos where we will see the details of this thing until then happy learning wish you very all the best